everyone and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. In this DIY I'll be creating another perfume bottle. You guys have different options with this one. You can do whatever you want to. Towards the end of the video I might add a Chanel logo but who knows we'll see. Alright so let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is two of these frames and of course I found them at Dollar Tree. They're in the section at the front of the store where they have set up for graduation and I was able to find quite a few so you guys know I loaded up so I'm gonna be doing quite a few projects with these frames. One of my favorite things to do is to make perfume bottles with these frames. Alright so let's get started. Again you're gonna need two of these and so what I'm gonna do is take the back off and you're gonna need one of these platters from Dollar Tree as well. So the first thing you want to do is take the little piece that you took out the frame. So what we're going to do is trace this and then use this to reinsert into the back of the frame. I'm just going to use my little rhinestone tool. You just want to trace it. Because of the dip, I'm just going to try it around. and trace that right across. So now you want to cut it out. So now I'll go in and trim it properly. And I'm cutting right inside the line. Sometimes this could be a little crazy. Um, let's see if we can get the proper fit. Now, even though I traced it with this piece that came off the back, it's still a little bit bigger. That's why I cut inside the line. So now I'm just going to hold it here and cut a little bit more off. Okay, I need to take a little bit more off. perfect. Whenever you're using the Dollar Tree tray, try and get one without scuffs. This one has a few scuff marks on it, so I'm trying to see the best way that I can use it to cover that up. Okay, so I guess I'll go this way. So what I'm going to do is use some bling to make a cityscape. Skyline, whatever you want to call it. I received a request to do more Skyline DIYs. Not only do I have a rose gold series going on, because I do have more rose gold DIYs coming out, I now have a Skyline series as well. So I'm going to take it to the next level, so y'all stay tuned. All right, so let's get started, and let's play with a little color. Here I have some bling from Dollar Tree. I also have this from Dollar Tree. This bling I found on Amazon, and this is that sparkly, super sparkly bling that I've been using, the silver. This particular sheet was under $10, and I'll link it below for you guys so y'all can go there and grab it. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and design my cityscape. I'm going to add some silver as well so it won't be completely blue. It'll be blue and silver. So I have mirror tiles. I have more of the silver bling, like the blue. I have pieces of just regular bling from Dollar Tree or totallydazzle.com. And I have two different kinds of this square block bling. I have two different kinds. I'll be using some fix all glue and I have some popsicle sticks. So let's decide on how I want to do my build. To get started, I'm gonna start with this blue bling. Now I want to figure about how tall I want it to be. Now because this bling is so pretty, I want to make this building tall and wide. I'm just cutting off excess glue at the top. Now this is really tricky. First, you want to make sure that this is clean, so wipe it clean. And if you're using this adhesive bling, it's super, super sticky, so you gotta be careful. So guys, pray for me that I get this right. <laughs> so 
So I have my first building. Now I'm going to go with this really pretty shiny link and I'm going to make it two buildings wide. Just make it a little shorter. So just play with it before you glue it down. Cut one of these off and maybe that'll go in the middle. Is that too tall? Okay. I think I want to make it a little bit shorter. So now I'm going to take some glue and put it on the back. You want to put enough to hold but not so much that it seeps out. That's the tricky part. Now we have building number two. Now for building number three, I'm not going to use this bling because of the adhesive in the background shows up cloudy. So I'm going to go with the mesh bling. Now that I have this open, I want to trim off any extra string. Decide on how big I want this building to be. I think I want to go with four rows. So again, just play with it until you figure out what you like. I think I want this building to stair step upwards. Let's see if we like that. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's go with that look. Now I'm just giving you an idea on how to do it. I can make it a little bit more elaborate, but. And here's my cityscape. So now I'm going to allow this to dry for about 20 minutes. And then I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm back and I went ahead and added a little bit blue at the top. I just need a little bit more interest. So now what I want to do is Put this inside the frame. I've already cleaned it to make sure there was no dust or anything in there. Here's the opening. I always like to make sure that it's at the bottom. Okay, I'm done cleaning it. And I add a little bit more blue here just to make it more interesting. So now, we're getting ready to put it inside the frame. But before we put it in the frame, make sure that it's clean. And make sure that you have the opening at the bottom. They just pop it in place. And you see I still have room. So that's what we have so far. It'll fall down and you'll see it better later. So now to get this to stay in place, I'm going to hold it down with my hand and go in around it with some hot glue. Hold it down until the hot glue sets up. Okay. Now, like I said, you will need two of these. If you do it like this, it really won't be that cute unless you put it up against the wall or something. Ahead of time, I created this cityscape. And as you can see, this one is completely silver. So what I want to do now is glue both pieces together. Now I decided to do blue just in case you get bored with the silver. You can do both the same as that color if you want to. You can even do a picture on the back. So I'm going to show you guys how to do one with a photograph next time around. You guys already know I'm going to use my handy dandy Gorilla Glue to glue these two pieces together. Again, I'm going to make sure that both have the stoppers at the bottom. They're both upright. And then I'm going to glue them together. Now I'll weigh them down for about two or three hours. 
come back and move on to the next step. Okay, so while the glue is setting up on these two pieces, we're gonna go ahead and work on the top to our perfume bottle. It says, add your own message, it's so cute. Found these at Dollar Tree about two months ago. I don't know if they still have them or not. I only have two. I used the skew. So what I wanna do is just add some silver paint to it. I'm not gonna paint the inside, I'm just gonna do the outside trim and the bottom. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and come back in with probably two more coats. Okay, I'm back and it has been a couple of hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this weight. And here's the bottom. We still just have to wait for this, but yeah. This is what our cityscape looks like so far. And here's what it looks like on the silver side. So, as you can see, I trimmed this out with some of that same bling. Now I'm going to trim this side with the blue. And I've already cut two strips of it to save time. And now all you need to do is just line it up. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like, trimmed out with the blue bling. So I'm going to put this aside for now and go back to our top. This is after I applied three coats of paint. I didn't go in so much in the middle because I decided to add bling around it. So I want to add some glitter on it as well. I have some Mod Podge ready and some silver glitter. So I'm just going to brush the Mod Podge on. And then um, once the glitter dries, I'm going to seal it in place with some hairspray. And I know you guys see me do that plenty of times. All right, now I'm going to take a smaller brush. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay, so I'm just knocking off the excess glitter. There's still a little glitter here and there, but once I spray it with the hairspray, I'll come in and clean it off. So here's the Dollar Tree hairspray that I'll be using to seal the glitter in place. So now I'll let that completely dry. Okay guys, I'm back and the hairspray has completely dried. So now I'm going to trim it with some of the bling that I use on the skyline. I went ahead and cut it off camera. I'm just gonna take that back off. Put it right here. And now we have this. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece on top. Like I said earlier, it's been a couple of months since I purchased these. You might be able to find them. If not, you can still use a different top, a top like this that I made on this one, a knob like on this one. So now I'm gonna let this glue set up for at least an hour. Okay everyone, I'm back. And if you can hear my background, you can hear that it's morning because the birds are chirping. I let this set up for a few hours. What I wanna do is go ahead and add some of the same bling to the side. I also wanna try and cover these areas around the top as well. All right, I'm just going to remove the back. Just like that. Now I'll do the other side. So 
I think I'm just gonna lay this right on top. See where I need to cut it. And then I'll cut some smaller pieces of fit in around here. All right, so this might be the most craziest part of the DIY because you gotta try and fill in these spaces here. Now what I did was took this like this and measured like halfway across. And so now I have the piece of here and here. So I'm just gonna cut this right down the middle. And I still have the paper on the back. Now I already did this side so I know that it's gonna take two rows up here. So I'm going to start here with two rows. Down here, I'm going to start with two. And then I'm going to kind of cut at an angle. Now I don't have to get this perfectly right because I can come back in and fill in those spaces. So it's pretty good. One little diamond that I need to cut off. And now I have a little bit of a space there. And I think it's going to take a row of diamonds. One little bitty small row. Now I'll do this side off camera. Alright, so I'm done adding the blink to the top. So the very last thing I want to do is add one of my Chanel logos. Now, if you guys do not have a Chanel logo, don't worry about it. I show you how to make one in one of my videos. It won't be exactly like this, but I've made them black um, from paper. If you have a Cricut, you can make one with that, but if not, you can just print one out, make it, and put some rhinestones on top and it'll look really pretty. Or you can print out Chanel and put it on here. I think the word Chanel will be really pretty because it's such a large space. And again, you do not have to put a Chanel logo. You can use a pretty brooch or anything. I'm using this particular top because I didn't want to put anything in front of my cityscape because it's so pretty. So the next thing we want to do is take some Gorilla Glue and put it on my logo. Now I add a little bit of hot glue to give it an instant hold. Okay, so now I'll allow the Gorilla Glue to completely dry, clean it up, come back and let you guys see what it looks like. As promised, here's my beautiful, sparkly, glam, cityscape perfume bottle. And I think it's absolutely stunning. And it goes really well with my Cityscape coasters. And if you haven't seen that DIY, I'll be sure to link it in the description below. I look forward to bringing you more Cityscape DIYs soon. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more perfume DIYs, then please check out the ones on my channel. Also, please don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.